All right, hey guys, it's me. So today I'm doing something a little bit out of the ordinary for me. I'm doing a pyro video, and that is because uh, within the next few days, possibly tomorrow, I think, we should be seeing the pyro update. I'm gonna mute that guy before he even gets annoying. Um, today I'm running probably what I think is the most fun loadout for pyro. That is backburner, detonator, and back scratcher. It's not supposed to be the most viable. That's still degreaser, stock, shotgun, and power jack, in my opinion. But this is supposed to be something fun that I can screw around with, because it adds a lot of mobility and secret killing force to the pyro. Well, I don't know about secret, but surprise, I suppose, is the word I'm looking for. Get off of there! And you just so happen to have a force of nature. Uh, anyway, there are a lot of scouts in that team. I'm going to go over the stats real quick. Uh, for the back burner, you will get critical hits from behind. I don't know if the radius is the same as the spy, but I'm not sure. Um, like any other non flagistinator flamethrower, the, when you extinguish teammates with it, you'll get 20 health back, and it takes 50 ammo to air blast rather than, like, if I pull out my stock, it, it only takes 20, but if I pull out my degreaser, um, it'll take 25. So, unlike those, it does 50 per air blast, and that's to kind of discourage I don't know if discourage, like, you still want to play a support pyro with this loadout, but you can be more aggressive and more flame, more ambush based, I suppose is the word. Um, let's just try that again, shall we? There we go. That guy had no idea. We're gonna flank these two. That's what this loadout is for. So now we're kind of in a spot we probably shouldn't be in. But I am very much behind the enemy team right now. Because really nobody uses this route. And if somebody does, well, I got bit in the butt for that last time. I, One time I was... Earlier today I was trying to record this on Frontier. I was hiding behind the truck in between first and second on one of the flank routes. And I said, nobody goes over here. I had my back to the wall. Or my back against the wall. No, my... Yeah, I was turned. I was looking at the wall, so my back was exposed, and a spy showed up. I instantly ate all of my words as the spy backstabbed me and made me look like an idiot. So, hopefully, people will come down here because it seems like like I saw them all up on the hill, but they're like completely avoiding the tunnels, and I don't like it because it makes me think somebody's actually going to come up there, you know. But it'd be really nice if they could come down here and I could like show off this weapon. Don't tell me I have to actually come up here and fight people. Oh, not a spy? Well, definitely a spy, but enemy spy. Just fire a flare, see if I hit something. That guy's gonna draw attention over here, so I'm gonna run away. Let's try and get around this flank, maybe. Um, my next couple of lives, I'll talk about the detonator and the back scratcher stats when I'm dead. Just light that guy up and see if he chases me. Yep, he definitely knows where I am. Let's see if he's dumb enough to follow me, though. That's the question. That sniper saw me. Let's see if I can get some stupid kill in their spawn. Oh, okay. So we're just looking that way for whatever reason. How? Do, why do you walk out of spawn and look to that side? Who does that? Okay. Well, I guess I deserve to die like that. Detonator will do mini crits versus burning players when you hit them, and will deal only 75% the damage of a normal player. I believe that's about 22 from the gameplays I've already tried to do with this, rather than 30. Um, and you can, and the main part of this weapon, the main reason why I chose it, is the damage to self, because um, you can actually hurt yourself with these players. And when you press, not why am I on silver? When you fire and you press your right click or your alt fire, whatever that would be. Um, you can detonate your flare. Like, that's a normal shot, and you can blow them up whenever you choose. That gives it a small AoE. It will... I, I don't know how big the AoE is. I haven't had much success lighting more than one person on fire with this at once. The score shot's probably better for that, as much as I hate recommending that weapon for any purpose ever. I'll just jump on top of you people. What are you doing? Get off me. Burn. Burn to death, please. Anyway, 
Um, and finally, the back stretcher will deal 25% more damage. I believe that's somewhere between 78 and 81 damage rather than 65. Uh, you will take, you gain 50% more health from packs. So rather than healing one fifth from little packs like this one up here, you'll heal 30%, I believe, three tenths. Uh, from medium kits like that, you'll heal rather than 50%. Um, there's a spy over here. You will heal 75%, I want to say. Get over here. You're not going to trick stab me. I got trick stabbed way too much earlier. Um, and you will take 75% less healing from medics, from carts, from dispensers. So those will heal you at a quarter of their rate. Oh, and I can't air blast. Yay. Uh, anyway, this weapon kind of makes this more of a flank pack reliant pyro rather than a combo reliant pyro. I would still say you can use either the extinguisher or the power jack with the slowdown. Power jack if you want a little more speed, extinguisher if you want a little more killing reliability other than iffy flame particles, which is something I sincerely hope they at least address in this update. Like that they acknowledge that it's broken. That alone would be enough for me. A fix would be beautiful, but I don't really know how you fix it, so that's why I'm not expecting it. See if I can get the soldier. Oh, oh. Okay, that's why I like this loadout. Oh, I should not have detonated that. Just light you up, cause you really can't snipe if you're let on, if you're on fire. We're running away, cause I'm on two health. And I get a lot of health from kits, so it works well. Why I'm flashing that, I don't know. I kind of just do that subconsciously. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay. And of course he's got a Pyro Scaled part on it. Anyway, spy main aside. Um, like I was saying, I think you could viably use the extinguisher or the power jack with this loadout in pubs. I should stress when I'm throwing around words like viable, that this is not a competitive strategy. This is just something fun to screw around with in pubs. This would not go over well in a competitive match. I guarantee you, air blasting is so much more useful than a dumb flank fire that gets a crit kill every once in a while. I want these snipers. I didn't want him. All the damage noises. Oh, there's a spy around here. Down here somewhere? I don't know where that spy went to. Oh! Yeah, clearly I need to recall how to play Pyro against Soldiers. I can, I can play Soldier against Pyro, but I can't play Pyro against Soldier, it would seem. Um, on to another subject I need to bring up in this video. I do fully plan on covering the Pyro update, both for Soldier and for Pyro, and maybe some other classes if something interests me. So yes, that means I will have to address that really odd Mantreads change, but I think that really only applies to me that doesn't like it, because I, I have my absurdly high sensitivity. Like, that's just me kind of moving my mouse back and forth like maybe an inch tops is that, like, flicking movement. So, the way I read that Mantreads change is it's going to make that even more fast. I'm going to move even quicker like that. And I'm getting shot all over the place. So I'm going to go down here, get that, and go back to full health, because Back Scratcher is good. Ignore the sentry, light up the p sniper, light up the other sniper. Let's just spam at him, because he seems very intent on standing still. Oh, I actually killed that guy. Cool. Uh, so it does 132 maximum. That's what are you doing there? That soldier. Did, what are you doing? What are you people doing? I just watched two people walk off that cliff. Okay, let's try and get actually get something done. Let's bye. I'm just gonna like kite you into my fire because that works every time. 
I'll just get those messages after the recording. Uh, Alright, let's see. Let's get the, mm, no, I'll leave that, because it's like the same thing as getting this medium get this up here. So. Soldier Y. Soldier, get out of my way, please! Thank you. Oh, just gonna ignore that. He took it out, good. Just reflect that. Take him out. Charge you. Get up here. Confuse the spy main! <laughs> Uh, can't reflect. Oh, that was so funny. Oh, that spy main. That was beautiful. All right. Got him. Why does it feel like my frame rate is a little low? Hey, Pyro! Again, the Pyro that kites the other one wins every time. That's simply how Flame Particles work, and I got the top three, which is better than I did in any of my other games. Alright, long story short, the loadout... This is fun to play. This isn't supposed to be an excellent competitive loadout. That is still, like... Degreaser, stock, shotgun, and power jack. Or flare gun if you so prefer, but I personally prefer shotgun, as you should remember. Um, I will be doing videos on both soldier and pyro changes in the coming pyro update. Hopefully it's out tomorrow, because then I'll be right. I was predicting it would come out the same day as the update, or the steam sale. Um, but other than that, I think that's all for today, guys, so I will talk to you later. Hopefully the Pyro Update will be coming sooner rather than later.